my name is Jenna and today I'm here with another writing update. This one is for January of 2021. I went into January with one goal. Well, one goal split into three parts. So my one goal for the month was I wanted to finish a total read through of my novel K. I wanted to write some brief edit notes and then I wanted to send it to my friend to get her opinion as to whether or not there was actually a story buried in there somewhere. Because when I was reading through Kay, I was sort of like, this is terrible. <laughs> and I know everybody goes through that when they first read back their first draft of their book, but mine was terrible to the point where I started to wonder, was there really a story here at all? I thought that I could see glimmers of a story, but I couldn't quite figure out what it was that I wanted to say. And when you don't know what you want to say in a novel, your voice is all over the place and it's not quite there and it's not unique enough and it's not prominent enough that your book would ever get picked up for an agent or get picked up from sub for publication. So I was sort of like, oh, okay. So going into this one, I knew that it wasn't a great book. I knew that back when I finished it in November last year, I wrote this one during NaNoWriMo and I knew that it needed a hell of a lot of work. I already knew that going in. So reading it now, I was writing notes on it and these are just really brief overviewed edit notes. We're not going into like anything more than that. And so many of the notes that I wrote myself were questions and it was just like why did you do this what is this what is the character's motivation for this and I realized as I was going on that I've just done a lot of surface characterization and I haven't really considered who the characters are as people and of course that's something really really important especially in contemporary novels because that is the novel that I'm working on is you need to have characters who are more than just what you see on the surface you need to have these really deep well fleshed out characters and at the moment I don't have that so I read through all three parts and I finished my edit notes and I've made decisions of things that I want to change. And after that I sent it off to my friend Emily. So, so far I've got like a tick, tick, tick. I've ticked off everything on this list. And I sent it to my friend Emily and I said, Emily, I need you to read this and I just need you to tell me if there's a story hidden in there somewhere. And she has been reading it. Uh, I am a puddle of emotions while she reads it because I'm just sitting over here like, does she like it? What if there isn't a story there? What if I've wasted all this time writing this book and it's not going to be publishable and it's not even going to be salvageable? and I really started to like stress a little bit <laughs> so I had to sort of take a step back and be like no it's fine it's fine it's fine she's not finished reading it yet I know she's only read she read part one and I think she started part two and she hasn't read part three yet so the whole thing I'm just sort of like no no like it's fine it's fine it's fine you know we got time and one of the things that I'm liking now that I have sent that book off is I'm liking that she's sending me some feedback so she's gonna give me like a comments thing at the end but she's sort of just sending me some feedback for now and some of the feedback that I'm receiving is her being like have you considered doing this and she did that for one of them and I was able to go back and go oh my god yes that is something I have considered and that was one of the changes I was planning on making in the second draft which tells me that I must be on the right track and that there has to be some sort of story there but Emma's also been really good because like one of the big parts of this novel is music music is a really big part of it and she messaged me and she goes so what sort of music are your main characters into and I just sat there and went huh I hadn't actually considered that and considering this book is so rooted in music and there's so much music going on I was like my main characters yeah they would probably have a favorite kind of music and that is probably something that would come up at some point so that's something that I'd never considered before and it's something that I'm definitely working towards moving forward into February's goals Emily still has K so I don't have that back from her yet and I don't want it back yet because I've made all these edit notes and I've had to really seriously step back and think about what it is I want to do with this story, what it is I want it to be about, if I want to change things, if I want to combine characters, if I want to do certain things. So there's a lot of changes that I have to make and there's a lot of thinking that I have to do and I just want to take a break from that. So instead my goal for February is I want to write 10,000 words of my post-apocalyptic story. If I can write more than that, amazing. If not, I'm not too fast. And I say that because I was thinking about Kay and then all of a sudden my my brain went, I know how to fix the PA story. And it was almost immediate and I just went, oh my god, yes, that is exactly how this can be fixed. Because it's not that I got to a certain point and then got stuck. I only got maybe 10,000 words into the draft in the first place. But I already knew that I was sort of starting to get stuck and I already didn't like certain aspects of the novel. And now I'm like, oh my god, that, that is exactly what I needed to do. Because
because when we get started on this one, I'm sort of throwing you guys immediately into the action. The action gets immediately thrown into and it's not, you know, you don't have like that setup where you see the character's main world. It's just, nope, here's a problem. We're dumping you straight in the middle of it. And I'm like, oh, probably can't do that. So I've come up with a plan to fix it. And now I really want to write this story. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to be trading off between the, I'm going to be trading off between K and the PA story, depending on what I'm writing and where I'm up to in the drafting process or the editing process at the time. I still really want to go back to my YA fantasy at some point. Unfortunately, I just, I've not had much inspiration to write at all over the last couple of years. And I truly think that part of the reason for that was because I'd been working on this YA fantasy story since 2016 and I hadn't finished the first draft of it yet. And I know that for some people that is sort of normal and first drafts can take up to 10 years to write. You know, some people probably even longer. But the fact that I hadn't even finished that first draft and I didn't look like I was ever going to finish it was really making me unsure and uncertain. And I knew that I needed to do something. And what I did was I put it down and I worked on K and I started this PA story instead. And that's really worked for me. So I've done a lot of thinking about writing. I'm always inspired to write now. And I think that's something really important and something that I wasn't expecting, but I'm glad that it happened. So goal for February, 10,000 words towards my post-apocalyptic story. If I get K back, then I'll also look at doing some of the edit notes on that to get ready for my second draft. But for now, I just want to focus on the post-apocalyptic. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below how your writing went in January, because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye. Thank you.